create your vision. Now, what I mean by vision, here is what it means. What kind of life do you want for yourself? Now, this is going to be very similar in certain ways with five wise and slightly different than five wise. So when you did five wise, there could be a negative motivation or a fear or, you know, pain related thing that, okay, I don't want diabetes. I don't want blood pressure or I want to get rid of medication. I don't want pain in my uh, back on my knees, any of these. So these are certain things that could be a motivational factor for you to, you know, make this change. Whereas what we are doing right now and what we are going to do for you is more positive thing. So five wise is more reasoning, still a lot more logic behind it and could be negative. This is inspirational, more positive and more emotional than five wise. Okay. So what do I want you to do is think about it. When you achieve your goal, what would you be doing? Who will be with you? Where will you be? How will you be feeling? Right? Very, very important. And you might be thinking that why are we doing these kind of exercises while we are here to lose weight? But here is the thing. Okay? Precision Nutrition, world's best nutrition coaching company for coaches, actually does this for all their clients. We do it for our business, for our coaching, and this works. And it is, we call it as destination postcard in PN language. Now, PN is not the only one. National Board of Health and Wellness Coaches America, the most prestigious health and wellness certification company and the you know standardization company also suggests that this needs to be included in health and wellness coaching in it in fact it's almost mandatory for everybody to do it i have not given the exam i'm not certified but i've learned exactly what nbhw needs so they call it as a wellness vision statement it may look like I don't want to do this. Let's just get on to, you know, what do I have to eat? But understand, very, very important. This is a magnet. It's an inspiration that's pulling you. Okay. So let me just give you an example. And there could be multiple reasons why you want to do this. But I'm just giving you one example. Okay. What would you be doing? I would be going on treks. Okay. Who will be with you? My kids, my family, and my friends will be with you. Where will you be? I will be in mountains every week. Okay? Or in forests, in different places like this. How would you be feeling? I would be feeling awesome. I would feel a sense of pride, a sense of fulfillment, a sense of achievement that I am able to go and do the physical activities when I'm top of these peaks of mountains. I'm looking at the world from top down. That actually gives me a lot of energy. My kids are with me. They see me doing these things. I inspire them and they also start making this a habit and live a healthy life. Now, this could be your vision statement, right? And it could be something else. Anything that you feel is inspiring for you. You could be playing a sport. You could be going for hiking. You could be going for Chardam Yatra. Whatever you want. You want to run marathon, triathlon, whatever that you like, right? It could be anything that would help you achieve your goal. So make sure that you create your vision statement before you move on and do anything else. So today, make sure you calculated your goal, you have your why's, your motivation, and you also tap into the inspiration. So we want to make sure that you have all the support, everything that's needed from inside you coming out to help you in this journey.